haywire. If you we were talking about the film just now, which it is in the end sleazy exploitation trash and not necessarily in a good way. Haywire is what happens when you actually attempt to do something interesting with a you know, with, with, with a genre and slightly subverted. So it's a new movie by Steven Soderbergh. It takes well-worn B-movie genre, which he, he does this quite a lot. In this case, action-adventure. Gives a little bit of a twist. Throws in some very, very sort of spanking, sparkling visuals. Chucks in a bunch of uh, A-list stars to, you know, to give it box office appeal. Finger-popping soundtrack. And voila, you are an auteur with mainstream appeal. So the story is, he describes this as being based on... The, uh, the sort of formula of James Bond movies, the early James Bond movies, like From Russia With Love, in terms of the ratio of plot to action, that basically it's, you know, it's, it's, two to, it's one to two as opposed to two to one. He also describes it as being a Pam Greer film as made by Alfred Hitchcock, which I think is aiming fairly high. Actually, it's closer to... Um, do you remember Nikita, which, uh, which in America was called La Femme Nikita? Yes. Do you remember that? And the whole story was it was gun toting, you know, a woman in a cocktail dress learns to be an All assassin. Way with exactly. The gun, yeah. And that was then remade in the US as Assassin, the Assassin with Bridget Fonda, which is pretty much the same movie, although actually in the original French version, the over, well, overarching colour was blue. And in the American version, oddly enough, the primary colour was red and orange. Strange, but Did there Elton we go. Did John's Nikita uh, predate that, or was it inspired No, it by came it? afterwards. I'm pretty sure that, well, the, he, he said there was some other story behind it, but funnily enough, I did actually look into that at one point. I wondered whether Elton John had gone to see Nikita and had thought, that's fine, I'll write a song about that. But, and it, but it, uh, it, it doesn't predate Chikatita by ABBA. Chicken Nikita, that was the one about... I just love all ABBA stuff. So, okay. you know, so ha having only just managed to see the, that film... Which one? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Yeah. yeah, here I go again. So Gina Car Carano is Mallory, who's a special ops type secret agent. She's sent on a mission which, in time on the fashion, she does what she's meant to do on the mission, but it turns out the whole mission was a setup. The next thing you know, she's completely outcast. Everybody's out, out after her. She goes rogue, and everyone should be very afraid. Here's a clip. Rodrigo, Gay Paso. What are you working so late for? It's what, past eight, your time? When she called you at home? Yes. Was that a nice conversation? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Brief, but uh, very nice. Yeah. She thanked me for my assistance. Is she still in Dublin? Well, she said she just landed in New York. Good. Good. Well, uh, why don't you stay off your house line and... Uh... I wouldn't go outside till I call you back or your family. It is funny, isn't it, how as a result of... We're always saying that the thing with Puss in Boots is that the best thing about it is Antonio Banderas' voice. Boots. Is, are you, you going to do an Antonio Banderas impression? No. But it, with that, because he's on the telephone, you do expect... You know, was it a nice... Kind of, yes, it was nice. It's the saucer of milk, <laughs> you know? <laughs> because it's, it, it's such a great voice, but it is now indelibly wedded to Puss in Boots. So the story is... Soderbergh saw Gina Carano, 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 I think. Um, he saw her on television. She was doing uh, mixed martial arts fighting. I think people refer to that as cage fighting, something, but mixed martial arts. So she was, a, you know, she fighter, and very much in the mold of somebody like Cynthia Rothrock, who was, you know, so someone is fighting in one style, and then someone else is fighting in another style. No, no, they mi mixed martial arts is all the martial arts styles mixed together. I'm not a, 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 an expert on this, but Are it's not. Know? It's not one person's doing kung fu and well, the other person's the cage doing fighter. boxing. That would be funny. That would be quite funny. One person, yeah, one person's wrestling and the other person Origami. is fencing. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So she was a mixed martial arts, and he saw her, and he thought, oh, actually, she, you know. Know, she could be a great uh, movie heroine she hadn't acted before they got her in and said here's the thing what we really want you to do is to do all your own stunts and uh, we'll we'll specifically construct the role around the things that you can really do and actually i i thought she did terrifically well for a start in terms of the, the, there is a lot of action in the movie there's a lot of running jumping punching fighting and one of the things that they've said they wanted to do was to not to have everything on wire work not have everything special effects not have people doing supernatural unbelievable things have people doing things that are at the top end of what you could actually physically do which means there are an awful lot of you know hand to hand fight sequences of people seen with her fighting michael fassbender thrashing around smashing up hotel rooms people being thrown into televisions but all sort of bone crunchingly realistic in a way which is it's interesting because we've got so used to wire work and people flying through windows and in the sort of the James Bond way unbelievable fights that when you see something that looks like people actually genuinely having a proper punch up it really does you know pack a punch 
then you surround me you know, Michael Douglas, Ewan McGregor, uh, Antonio Banderas, uh, Channing Tatum, you know, and Bill Paxton, Michael Fassbender, you know, a bunch of established thesps who can pretty much do what's necessary as far as the acting chops is concerned. Although I have to say, in Gina Carano's uh, defense, she said that you know, she hadn't acted before, wasn't sure that she was up to it. I thought she was pretty, I mean, I've seen many respected thesps doing far worse than she does. But the best thing about it is she's a fantastic screen presence. She does, she genuinely convinces as somebody who is fighting all her own battles, as somebody who's completely right. I mean, the thing it reminded me of to some extent is Hannah. You saw Hannah, right? Yes. You quite enjoyed that. Yep. Similar sense of the whole gag is you don't think this person is going to be as dangerous as they are, but in fact, they're absolutely lethal. There's one line in it in which Michael Douglas, I think he's talking to Antonio Banderas, and Antonio Banderas says something, says something like, yeah, well, she's coming, but, uh, you know, she's just a woman. And Michael Douglas says, it would be a mistake to think of her as a woman. And there's, a, there's a, another lovely detail in which she's she's been in this great big, you know, very close-handed, hand-to-hand combat fighting punch-up thing, and she's trying to escape from the building. At the very last minute, she falls the five foot to the floor and really hurts herself. And it's a lovely touch that the fighting, the clo- you know, all the stuff, the mixed martial arts stuff, she's absolutely brilliant at. But like everybody else, she falls over and hurts herself which added, you know, a, a layer of credibility. There's a sort of finger-popping score to the whole thing. You know, he does all those sort of... Boom, 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 boom. Like, a, you know, in all the, the Ocean's Eleven, whenever they're doing any sort of... he, There's nothing he loves more than shots of people opening and closing suitcases, packing, zipping things up, you know, doing... It doesn't make a movie for me, I must say. Doesn't it? What, just an opening and closing of a... Of a case. No, no, but it's a little, it's a, it's a sort oh, of, it's like a stylistic tick. There's something, you know, to another. It mean, you know, clean edges, clean, you know, stuff getting done. It's, it's like a heist, like a heist movie, but it's essentially an action movie in which he's taken a, I think, very promising action star, given her a, the best possible star vehicle and said, off you go, go do your own thing. And she has done, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's, it's a, you know, it's a B movie. It's an expensive B movie, but it's a B movie. And, it was a demonstration that actually if you want to do something about subverting those kind of things, that's the way to do it. Really, really good fun.